What is up you guys? I'm back with another video and it's going to be a UFC video this time and with the return of a fan favorite in the 145 pound division. Without further ado, let's get into it. First up we have Matt the Immortal Brown taking on Diego Lima from Brazil. Matt, Matt Brown is 2-2 two two in his last 4. Diego Lima is 3-1 in his last 4. He was on a 3 fight winning streak and he's coming off of a loss in his most recent bout. Matt Brown is uh, one of the all-time greats. He's an exciting fighter. He, he's a blood and guts fighter. He's very aggressive. And he's going to uh, take on Diego Lima, whose brother of welterweight phenom Douglas Lima. And uh, Diego Lima is a solid fighter. He tends to go to a decision a little more often. And uh, I think he's going to, he's the younger fighter in this fight. And I think he's going to do enough to get a decision win over Matt Brown. Because Matt Brown is, uh, he's 40 now. He's not the, the same fighter he used to be about 10 years ago. And uh, I think Diego Lima is going to take this. Then we have a, what I think will be the fight of the night. We have Marlon Chito, where a 15th in the world in as a men's bantamweight, taking on dangerous Davy Grant from England. Davy Grant's coming off, uh, he's on a 3 fight win streak. He's on a 2 KO win streak right now. He's taking on Marlon Vera, who's 1 and 2 in his last 3, but his victory is over the highly touted Sean O'Malley. I think this is going to be fight of the night contender. I think uh, Davy Grant has the power to finish Vera. And I think Vera has the technical now to uh, stay behind his jab and move, circle around his uh, circle around Davy Grant's power and keep at him at bay. But I think what happens at the end of the day is I think Davy Grant is going to put on a showcase performance. I think it's his time to make a run in the men's bantamweight division. Davy Grant with a decision win. Then we have Julian Rosa taking on Sung Wu Choi from Korea. Julian Rosa is on a two-fight win streak, two finishes. Uh, the Korean fighter is on uh, a three-fight winning streak, all decisions. I think uh, Rosa is going to get this done. He's going to show that he's faced the better quality of competition up to date. And I think he's going to get a finish, probably by KO. I say second round, maybe third round KO, Julian Rosa. Then we have Russian heavyweight, 15 in the world, Alexei the Boa Constrictor Olenek taking on Sergei Spivak. And uh, Olenek's been on a bad run of late. He's been finished a lot. He's on a two-fight losing streak, I believe. Uh, he's taking on Sergei Spivak, who's a very technical fighter. Uh, he's quite light for the weight class. I think he's going to... He, has, he does have power, though. And uh, Olenek has shown that he has a consistency of... Uh, not being able to take uh, shots, heavy shots to the chin now. He's not young anymore. He's 43. He has a lot of submission wins. If he gets this to the ground, I think Spivak is going to get wrapped up really quickly. But I have a feeling Spivak is going to stay on the feet. And he's going to light up Olenek. And I think it's going to be a first round KO for Sergei Spivak. And then we have our main event. Number 8 in the world, Dan 50 KEG. Taking on number 4 in the world and returning. And looking to make a great impact after his most recent fight. The Korean zombie, Chan Sung Jung. Uh, Danny Ye, exciting fighter, never been finished. Kore uh, Korean zombie, exciting fighter, one of the fan favorites in the division, if not of the whole of the UFC. He's coming off of a loss in Dubai against Ryan Ortega, who's going to fight for the belt in September. He's still fourth in the world. He's still elite, in my opinion. I think Danny Ye, whenever he has faced elite competition in this division, he's come slightly short, like Calvin Cater, for example. And I think this is going to be no different. I think it's going to be a five round war and I think Korean Zombie is going to take the decision win. If you like the video guys, please like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.